Is the new Quasar Cannon Stratagem in Helldivers 2 worth it? I spent a week with the most balanced and non-nonsensical weapon. What is it? A mechanical marvel. It's a boomstick. To see if it was viable in high level content. So I, so I equipped it. And then I was lucky enough to experience the pure goofiness of having the game's difficulty become a concept. A thing of fiction and myth, not something of this plane of reality. As the Quasar Cannon, probably known as the Crazy Cannon, is so strong and balanced that it removes from the game any idea of difficulty or fair fight against the enemy. Some might say it's a coincidence that the Crazy Cannon was released and within five minutes the Automaton faction was completely wiped out. Do not double check that timeline. The Crazy Cannon takes up one stratagem slot and is equipped in your heavy weapon position. It's an energy based shoulder mounted weapon. And by energy based shoulder mounted weapon, I mean an absolute belter that slaps harder than my uncle after a six pack of 4x bra. After a short charge time, it farts out one of the highest damage projectiles in the game. A projectile that moves very fast and has no bullet drop. As you can see in this clip, enemies over 400 meters away are moving towards my teammate, but little did they know I was about to dunk on them harder than an army of emus versus some farmers. Making this better is 400 plus meters seems to be where the enemy bullets on Helldiver difficulty have drop off. So you can, on the highest difficulty in the game, rattle the jaws of... Hang on, let me, uh, let me take a look at the list. ANY ENEMY IN THE GAME! As the shots are so strong, so fast, and they outrange the automatons! Oh, this weapon must be limited, very limited. Much like, say, the orbital laser. As the crazy cannon is so efficient, there's no rhyme, reason, or reality that they would not limit this weapon in some capacity. And with that in mind, what sort of ammo are we dealing with, my dearest viewer? Unlimited. Infinite. No ammo needed. Just think about that for a second. Like, really think about that in terms of game development and balance. A developer went into a meeting and sat down saying, I want to make a cannon weapon. Yarr! Alright, what does the cannon do? Yes! Oh, okay. Uh, how much damage? Yes. How far does the cannon shoot? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, what about ammo? How much ammo are we talking? No. And I know, my dearest viewer, what you're about to say. Oh, but YOLO brat has a cool down your dog! So you need to wait for each shot. You're just hyping it up, brah. And to that I would say no. No, there is no cooldown. You see, in these videos, we like to take a, a deeper look into the stratagem or weapon, and this dreaded cooldown of the crazy cannon, which forces you to wait after each shot, is internal to that specific crazy cannon. So, if you call down a second crazy cannon, fire the first one, and then swap that for the second one, while you are firing the second one, the first one is recharging, so the one drawback of the crazy cannon can be avoided. Even the railgun at its height of power had ammo and a risk that you would die of death. You what makes things even goofier, my dearest viewer, is this was released alongside the heavy machine gun, which I had to jump through hoops to make worth using at higher levels. How do you release at the same time a weapon like that and one that is stronger than cheating in the game? I wasn't sure about making this video because there is no way this doesn't get nerfed harder than my nan at the pokies. So this video will probably not be accurate in a couple of weeks. But maybe that's not the point. Maybe we can all enjoy the most nonsensical weapon in the game. Yeah, I know what I said.
This weapon was released into our service as we were called upon to take the creek and major sectors of automaton space. I will look back upon this time fondly. Perhaps a calm before the storm before Joel shows us his hand. Speaking of hand jobs, there isn't much strategy involved in using this weapon besides juggling it for consistent uptime. But a jetpack did go a long way, as having line of sight and, you know, no bullet drop, having good line of sight lets you take multiple objectives in the game from any distance. So <laughs> yeah, a jetpack or a ladder are pretty goaded. Making it even more goaded is having the whole squad run this weapon. Four crazy cannons hitting one target is just goofy. Left one's left side is cracked. Oh, that Still looks so noise. cool. The other one is cracked. No shields. Dude, he's no out in the storm. Dude, they're trying to run. Oh my god. You cannot escape me. <laughs> he's this like, please. Your fate. <laughs> please. <laughs> must accept it. That's sick to watch. Oh, three, five. That poor fella. Dude, he a fart yes, smeller. So TLDR, is this weapon viable? And fun. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> but for how long? Subscribe if you enjoyed and want to see the next video where we check out the new Warbond. If you found some other handy tidbits for this weapon as well, share them down below and let us know what you think. Also, when the automatons return, I'll be testing out the right shields, so keep an eye out for that one. Shout out to my Twitch subscribers and YouTube members. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you want to do the same, click the join button down below or coming out on the streams. Hell bombs on its way. Oh, there's a gunship above you guys. Jeremy almost mortared it. Craziest Jeremy play. Uh oh, Are they after you? No, no, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. Hold. Hold. Okay, run. We're going this way. Yep. Oh. Okay, move oh a little. Move a little bit. Move a little bit. <laughs> okay, on hold. On release. <laughs> release. Going in a 380 max. Run. Oh, knocked his foreskin off. Oh, there's dude. a shrieker nest in front there of us. There we go. There we go. Okay. The phantoms are out because we haven't slept in three days in Minecraft. The phantoms are out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's all right. <laughs> Search Sussex, but put a space in the middle of it. Yeah. Move back a little bit, Robert. <laughs> 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 oh, my one to move back. Oh, oh shit, dude. It was the purpose. You told me as it fell down. I mean, you were you looking at it, purpose. dude. You didn't move. <laughs> Usually when you throw it, you got a that you're throwing. You were looking at it. Uh, I'm throwing a bear burst at the two bug breaches, north, northeast. See, you see how you did that, Yolo? I'm proud of you. Yeah. You called it in, you actually did it this time. Three steps uh, from the palm tree, <laughs> northeast. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you were criminal. When I fought, like, it, it comes in, like, burst, it's burst fire. I don't know why. <laughs> what? <laughs>